What's going on y'all? Kyron back up in here with another video and today we are in the new setup. Can you guys believe it? This is what it's possibly going to be looking like in the new room from now on. We're also trying out my mics that I normally use on my phone just because I feel like the shotgun mic in this room it might not work as best but we're, we're trying out new setups. We're going to see how it goes. I might actually try another angle hit you guys with the corner action like how I did in my old room but for now we're doing this. I think it looks nice. We have the plant in the corner. We have the nice little mahogany moment right here and we have the clothing racks that you guys are always known of familiar with whatever whatever you want to call it but anyway we're back up in here with a pickups video haven't done this in the past month but realistically you guys saw a bunch of build up from like three months of no pickups so this is the past month of things still a lot has touched down because i switched apartment so a lot of packages ended up just touching down here lots of gifting lots of not even a lot of buying actually a lot of this has been sent to me or brands that i'm working with but lots of just blessings across the board i'll be fully transparent about everything that has been sent to me uh and how i acquired some items because i feel like that transparency is very important i touched on that on the last video a little bit but anyway i'm yapping I'm rambling. Let's get straight into the goods. Before we do that, of course, make sure to follow the boy on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E. -E. That's where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that. So that's where you can check out on there. And then also make sure to sub, sub up to the boy. We're, we're getting some good subs on here. The retention has been good. The views have been good. So I'm going to be getting a bit more consistent on YouTube again because I feel like y'all missed the boy, hopefully. And I missed y'all. So I'm going to be I'm gonna try and be a little bit more consistent on here again, but we've been going crazy on the Instagram. So that's why I want you guys to go follow me on there. Also the TikTok, it'll be on the corner, one of these corners over here, but let's get straight into the first pickup. Cause it's a big one. It's a big one. This one I've been waiting for for a minute. I know I say that a lot, but this one I actually premeditated for a while since I saw the show. So we'll get straight into it. So this first one, ever since I saw the show, dude, I was like, bruh, I need those in my life with the silhouettes of pants I've been wearing these days. and me loving a good chunky boot to complement those pants you know you know it was no question i wasn't gonna not get these right you know but i had to be smart about it okay so i'm gonna tell you guys a story time i was like when are these boots touching down i texted every balenciaga essay that i know because even if i couldn't get it discounted for the low for free whatever i was like i don't mind chucking up the dollars for this most of the time i don't pay outright for my balenciaga you guys know that i either like try to work with a brand like farfetch or try and get it sneaky through some other avenues you know what i mean but just in the industry that i'm in i'm able to get things discounted sometimes but with this one i was like even if i can't do that i will pay my hard-earned money to get these boots you know what i mean but by the grace of the, the higher ups i ask all my essays like i was saying before i was rambling ask my toronto essay i find out that there's a vancouver toronto essay that i became friends with he's friends of the channel as well he tried to get me to boot my new york essay tried to get me to boot they all at the same time they're like we got them available here's the price i hear the price i say oh, sick to my stomachs fam i was horrified 2.2 hell no i was very very sad I was expecting 3K though, honestly. So try to moon over a couple of things, sell off a bunch of pieces, whatever to make it make sense. And then lo and behold, they end up touching down on Farfetch. This is not sponsored by Farfetch at all, but I had some leftover credit on there from past deals that I did. Put that towards the boots and out of here today. So that's the story. That's how I got them. I didn't pay as much as I really wanted to, which is good. So that's why they're here with us today for this glorious video. So we have the Stomper boots by Balenciaga. I actually sold my ever so popular steroid boots in order to like kind of soften the blow for these. Honestly, my steroid boots there. I mean, I sold my strike boots in order to get the Stomper boots. They were honestly cooked. I wore them four or five times a day for like every week. <laughs> like they were my most worn shoe for sure, or boot rather. And when i saw these i was like these are definitely replacing that one because they're way more comfortable than the strike boot that was one thing that i feel like a lot of people didn't know a boot is always going to be a boot it's not the most comfortable but sometimes you could kind of like mat man up and just deal with it it just had a very hard bottom these have a softer more forgiving bottom which is nice and the silhouette is way better for baggier pants because they're just going to rest on the plateau of the toe the little bar right there that was crazy right but yeah this the light is kind of making them look a lot more shiny than they are but they're stunning bro i love it and then also key feature 
inside zipper. This is gonna help you put them on and off so much easier. Even though I kept my strike boots unlaced, so I just slipped them on, it was easy. But this is even better. I can also wear these with shorts. They're gonna look sick because of how tall they are. They're just the best boot of all time. If you guys wear baggy pants and you're into boots, this is probably the boot of the year, guaranteed. When I saw the show, screenshotted it immediately. I sent it to all my essays. I was like, when it touches down, tell me. Now I'm here to tell the tale. They're in the collection. I'm stoked. I could yap about these all day. I can make a whole video about these, but we got a lot to show you. So I'm gonna put these to rest and get into the rest of this because we got blessed across the board. This month, we're very, very spoiled and blessed. So let's get straight into that. Also, this is how they come in the dust bag. Just gonna open it up, show you guys what they look like coming out of the bag. Boom. Put those back in though, because we got we got other pieces to talk about. Sizing guide for the boots, by the way, I went down one size. I, rec I recommend most people do that as well. I don't, I feel like I have a pretty standard two wide foot. I'm normally a 44, I went with a 43. They fit me the best. I tried a 42. They still fit, but on the top of the arch, it kind of hurt. So I went with 43. That's my recommendation. You guys try them on in person if you can, because I did when I was in New York and that's how I knew about my sizing. So that's what I recommend. On to the next. Next up, another glorious blessing that we have not sponsored once again. This is just for some work that I'm doing on Instagram with them, but shout out to the people at Harry Rosen. This is some of the selects that I picked for the work that I'm doing with them on Instagram for their 70th anniversary. And this is one of the pieces that I snagged for the fit that I'm gonna put together with that piece of content that you guys will be seeing on Instagram sometime soon. But yes, we have a pair of Prada American Cups. I believe that's what they're called. I've always liked these. Very nostalgic shoe for me because my dad actually had a lot of these um, when I was growing up. Like I always seen them. Like when he was getting into designer shoes, it was like Balenciaga, Louboutin, and the Prada American Cups. That was like the three designer shoes that I always seen them with. So this is the one I went with. This is the shiny patent leather iteration. Just a super classic black sneaker. I ended up going through my closet and trimming down a lot of the sneakers that I had just because I realized I wasn't wearing too many. So a lot of my black sneakers ended up going and I'm kind of happy because this is a good timeless shoe to have in the rotation to replace a lot of those ones that have lost us. They're no longer here with us anymore. So these are the Prada American Cups. I went with a Prada size 10, which is a regular US 11, so true to size. I feel like they fit good. Highly recommend. You guys know these already though, so I don't have to yap too much about them, but very grateful. Getting Prada for free is, is sickening. That makes no fucking sense at all. So very, very grateful. This is insane. I feel like I'm living in a dream every single day that I'm alive and I wake up. So very grateful. Thank you so much, Harry Rosen. Don't stop there. This is the next thing from Harry Rosen as well. <coughs> See if we can take this out of the bag on cam because they wrapped it nicely for me. So might as well. Oh, and I'm destroying it in front of your eyes. So excuse the background if it gets darker. I'm I'm filming till it's bound to happen, but it's whatever. But here we have Harry Rosen sticker. Tear that off. And we got a piece that I've been eyeing as well for a while. This is a Tom Brown simple slim gray melange hoodie. Love Tom Brown. I love the simplicity of it. Just like a very quiet, quiet luxury uh, hoodie. All that to say, because like obviously this is still branding in a nutshell. Like you know, you see this, this is Tom Brown, and you see this, you know, it's Tom Brown. But for most people, they might think it's Adidas, they might think it's a regular gray ass hoodie. But I think this is a calm little way to be like, if you know, you know. I like kind of my understated fits with things like that sometimes. So let me get a little hanger so I can show you a bit better. But yeah, good French Terry on this, uh, made in Japan, which is insane. You guys know I love my made in Japan pieces, but yeah, stunning piece. Really, really good, simple, good for the fall. Uh, and I went with a two. I think they go one, two, three. That's how they do their sizing, which is technically a medium. I could have done a large over medium, but either way, it's gonna give you that slim fit, sleeker, do sleeker top, bigger bottoms with this and calm little fit. There you go. Need I say more? Not really. It's perfect. Perfect hoodie. I told y'all we're getting spoiled this month. So also working with Holt Renfrew again. You guys know I worked with them, I wanna say last year, around around a certain time last year. So like I said, we're we, we're getting blessed, we're getting spoiled this, this freaking month. I don't know what's happening, but Q4 has been amazing for the boys. So this is something that I've been working with, with Holt Renfrew. Uh, they're doing an event with Stone Island. So they had 
a piece ready for me. I didn't pick this out. This was like completely blind. Uh, so I went to the store, picked up my bag. When you see this, this is what I know we're doing good things in life. When you see the little post-it note or sticky note on the bag, I always used to see like freaking like just like big dogs that I would watch on Instagram, like whether it be like a ASAP Nast or like a Bari or fucking Luca, whoever, you know what I mean? And they like post on their story, like they go to a store, there's a little post-it note there, it's gifted. And I never thought I'd have things like that. And I pull up, I see stuff like this, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something, I'm doing something that's lit. You know what I mean? So I was grateful, pulled up. Got my bag and I opened it up and they have this little stony piece for me. Posh little pub boy now in it. Call me the Shane Rev. But yeah, I got the stony patch right there. Super tough. This, I actually thought it was black and then I looked closely and it is navy, which is not my favorite color ever. I will be honest, but I've made navy work in the past. I'm not gonna lie and say I've never worn navy before, but if I have the option between black and navy, I'd rather go black, but this is still pretty nonetheless. I will be dressing this up tonight because that's when the event is now, the day that I'm filming this. So yeah, here you, know, you crack into this. I'm gonna be gone for like 30 minutes max. 30 minutes? Did you know you have 30 minutes? So speaking of the event, I actually had to just go open the door because Max is going to the event with me. So we packed up the Stone Island. I put it over there. We're gonna have a good time over there. I'm gonna get fitted, put the Navy together the way I think I know I could. And we're gonna get into the next pieces right now because there's a lot, there's a lot. Let me power through this. All right, so the next brand uh, and the only pair of pants are from Nociety. Uh, these are the actually shorts, funny enough, but they're very, very heavy duty shorts. Story with these, my boy Sean Avelli, put me in contact with the owners of the brand. They were super nice. We we're outside at this like, yeah. like night date, like in the street jam type situation. I don't know. But anyway, he was talking to me about these new sh shorts, shorts, whatever you want to call it, that they were dropping. And I was like, bruh, these, I never seen no one cook like this. All suede baggy shorts. Bruh, this is me in a nutshell. And they're like hella long. They could damn near be capris, honestly, but they're so sick. Styling these is so much fun. There's like a pony hair back badge right there. Only pair of pants in the whole video, but very, very strong pants slash shorts nonetheless. And in the conversation of these, I wanna know, is it too late for me to do my favorite shorts of the summer video? Because I had those set to the side for a while. Unfortunately, I had to do a whole move and stuff. They were still to the side, but I was like, it's still, it's still worthy of a video to make. But if you guys want that, I'll make it. I feel like it's too late, I'll scrap it. I'll do it next year. How's that sound? You guys let me know. But these are insane. When I try them on, you guys will see how crazy they are, but all genuine suede. They're super heavy. They're giving like Rick chrome vibe. Really, really sick. I fuck with them. They're, they're so fire. And I never seen anyone do it like this. So shout out to them. They're doing amazing things. Shout out to Sean Avelli and shout out to Nociety. Like, check them out. They're good. Next up, these are my new fave tees shout out to fernando you know that's my that's my brother really appreciate him always but he has these new three pack of tees i don't know if he's selling them in a three pack or individually maybe he's doing both i don't know but they're like taller baggier tees because that's kind of the the style that we're going on right now these days sometimes we do the slim fit sometimes we do the baggy but for the most part it's been baggy all around the neck is perfect it literally hugs your neckline perfectly this great tag and then just minor details like the bottom, it dangles perfectly. You guys can see that. And yeah, just really good details all around. It's single stitched. Fernando really cares about like the smallest little minute things. Like he was telling me even about like the texture of the shirt. He wanted it to be a certain way. And you know, he's, he's really nerdy with his clothes, which I really appreciate it because I pick up on all those things too. And I appreciate those things. So we have the black joint. We also have the charcoal for the charcoal wizard himself, Fernando. So this is the charcoal, kind of like an off black, little shadowy tone. And then we have even more like dusty, almost like grayish brown, that's what I'll call it. But all types of shades, 50 shades of gray type beat, you know what I mean? So there you go. We have every type of darkness under the sun for the shadow wizard himself. And let's get, speaking of darkness, we have the opium vest. No, I'm kidding. But we got this Oakley vest that I got sent to me. I literally got this today. I, I went to the front door and this package was waiting for me. And this is a fire one. Obviously, a lot of people have been wearing 
Oakley because of the whole damn opium core and all that. I didn't seek for this. This kind of seeked me. And now people are probably going to think I got that for that got this for that reason but that's not the case i got this sent to me it just so happens that i will be making it look in that way unfortunately but it's okay we're, we're gonna make it work i have an idea I'll probably do like the tight rick hoodie this vest baggy pants very simple stomper boots <laughs> come on you know you know we could we could cook that that's very light but let's keep it going um next up we're doing all the tops we're striking through these like hot cakes this was actually the invitation for the spider show when i was in new york so funny story. i'm gonna give you guys a story time because this is funny for youtube i went to the spider show it was a shit show getting into that by the way because people like to go to fashion shows that weren't invited and they think they could just finesse their way through i get it when i was younger i used to do that too but if you're a grown-ass man trying to do that stop that okay so sometimes we could get away with it here and there whatever but if you're not supposed to be there and it's time to actually get into that bit move out move out the way okay because i was one of the few people that actually had my seat assigned to me and it was just crazy getting into there i can make a whole story to talk about that another day but anyway i get in there someone's sitting in my seat so now i have to be a karen i get one of the people that is working the venue they were trying to make the person get out of my seat whatever they finally get out and there's no invite because someone was sitting in my seat so they stole my invite now so it was supposed to be the t now i finally get my my seat who's sitting in front of me quavo don't know how that happens, but whatever, we'll take it. Now we now we star studded. Quavo sits down. He don't give a fuck about the t-shirt. He doesn't care. Sits on the T. Actually, his whole team sits on whatever T's. So there's three now. Take every single one of them. No shame. I take like I took all three of them. Now I have two because I gave one away. But we have the gray one, spider. Shout out to slime, free slime. And yeah, there we go. We have the light gray one. And we have the blacked out one as well. So this one is a bit more understated but the back hit is cool i personally like to wear the gray one a lot more but the black one hits just as hard these are cool just like around the house tees but they still hit heavy and you're not gonna see too many people with them because they're from the show invite to the show whatever so really sick fire they're both size xl can't complain they're sick next up uh, we got this jersey by toi paradis i actually got this sent to me when i was at my old apartment but i've been saving it for this video for a bit now but I have this jersey it's pretty funny that jerseys are back now because you guys already know Car cardi cardi has an impact on all of these guys put them in a chokehold honestly put them in a coffin rather but this is a toi paradi mitchell and ness jersey probably wear this with oh with the with the with the gray unsound rags baggy tee under could be a vibe i, I might have just cooked a little fit right there i might do that next week or something so really really cool toi, toi, toi paradi jersey definitely gonna put that to use michelin and ness collab shout out to emrick he's one of the goats of montreal in terms of like designers that have blossom from the city he's obviously like from paris as well too but we hold them as one of our own so we'll get into the next piece because there's one more so this joint is actually like a little varsity moment so it's like a satin bomber slash varsity uh also mitchell and s this one is less my style compared to the jersey but it is still very nice nonetheless really good sheen on it the doves are a signature motif of the brand but the back hit is probably the, the nicest detail of this whole piece see the doves going all throughout it it's done really well the embroidery is super clean you definitely could tell that the design elements are up to par even though it's mitchell and ness as a collab you know what i mean so we'll digress we'll put this to the side shout out to emmerich i really appreciate you um the show in paris was phenomenal let's get into the next piece next up my brother sam mr fujiloff he has a lot of pieces in the new apartment that you guys will see eventually no apartment tour anytime soon because we still putting things together and i don't you know how i feel about apartment tours you guys just saw my last one that that was two years in the making so fujiloft my boy sam's brand shout out to sam my brother love that guy fujiloft is his brand like i said before and it's very like art forward now because he just started painting so a lot of the paint that you'll see within his pieces is kind of featured in this piece as well it kind of gives you like gallery department vibes but a lot more tasteful i would say not to say that gallery department is not tasteful but sometimes it could get viewed in a certain light with the people that are wearing it but yeah this is cool kind of like a akira reference let me see if i can zoom in with her akira reference on the tag sam is just a very tasteful dude so that's why i say the taste level is a lot higher you know what i mean this boy just bought an e30 he he's living his best life shout out to sam shout out to fuji loft i'm definitely gonna be wearing this a lot more i wish i was wearing it more early fall because it's starting to get a bit too cold but we could still pull this off on an indoor type of occasion event whatever may have you or if we go to like new york because it only gets really cold out here but elsewhere we could pull it off but this 
this is something we could pull off right now that's for sure this is heavy as hell this is from moose knuckles i was actually looking at this balenciaga piece that looks exactly like this jacket just instead it has a black zipper instead of a gold zipper and this it is so sick it's so soft to the touch it literally feels like you're hugging a, a grizzly bear it's it's crazy or like some type of teddy bear of sorts it's nuts like you never want to stop you never want to stop it's it's perfect so really excited to wear this joint very sexy jacket very very sexy jacket it does, the camera doesn't even do it justice like you have to feel it in person type beat pause no diddy that's crazy but <laughs> continuing on moose knuckles is a great brand i've been seeing them for a while very like canadian so very grateful to have something like this gifted to me so i'm gonna put this down because it, it feels like i'm doing a shoulder workout right now and this shoulder of mine right now kill it so I gotta put it down, unfortunately. Last top, and then we'll get into accessories, and then we're pretty much done for the vid. Murs B. Schwannen. This is the tee that was very, got popular in the show, The Bear. So I actually did a little piece on Instagram about this. I don't know if, even if I put that up yet, actually, but if I put this up first, after, whatever, you guys will know by now. But they give you a lot of information about the tee, like that it could shrink up to one to two inches when you put it in the wash. Care guide of how to take care of the shirt itself, because a lot of people don't know how to do damn laundry and a little thank you note from the Merz Bichuanen team which I'm very grateful for but these are made in Germany crazy quality and the size that I got was a medium I was a bit scared about the sizing because one of my homies bought it and it really didn't fit him unfortunately but that's what spooked me out once I put it on I was like I definitely can make this work and even with the one to two inch shrinking in the wash I think it'll still fit very nicely kind of like the uh Ion gaff baby tees a little bit, but obviously those are like picture perfect. That's exactly how I like my t-shirts to fit, but I'm curious to see this after a wash if it fits just as well or in its own way, you know what I mean? So the quality itself of like the hand feel of the cotton is unmatched, super nice. So I understand why they use that tee in that show. Perfect, perfect shirt. Speed running some caps now because not much to say about caps, but Punkin Yo, really great Montreal brand. Shout out to Anthony. This is the first piece I ever got from Punkin Yo. Also shout out to Gio because he bought this for me when I was in New York. He was just feeling very gener generous and he bought a bunch of people some hats. I've been wearing it like with the straps undone. Obviously I'm wearing another hat right now, so it doesn't look the greatest, but they, they really care about their graphic design. I love the direction that Anthony does with Punkin Yo. So this was a part of a batch of hats that they did every single letter of Punkin Yo. I wanted the K because my name's Kyron, you guys know that already, but the second best was the Y. They sold out of the K, so I took the Y. And everyone says I did a good, good job by doing that because it's probably the, one of the cooler letters out of all of Punkin Yo, so I digress. Next one, St. Woods hat collab with Sumpy Kev, and it has these like little floppy ear situations. Funny, really funny for like the winter. Has Brian from Family Guy on the side, St. Woods on the side as well, and then Slumpy Kev, St. Woods in the back. I saw this for the first time when I was in Miami. I really wanted one, but they're kind of like pre allocated already, and when I went to the, the headquarters the other day. They had one laying around, so I was able to snag it. So very happy with that. Another little St. Woods piece. Don't know if they dropped this or not, but Swarovski crystals all around, SW, a little heart. This one a little, this one a little funky vibe. So this is when I'm feeling a little, little exotic. You know what I mean? Next one, I'm gonna be quite honest. When a homie of a homie came up to me when I was in New York at that Punkin Yo event, and he gave me this hat i've been liking it i wore it with uh, a brand deal that i did with vans actually and yeah i really like it because it has that similar detail to the balenciaga cutouts on the cap really really cool i'm vibing with it it's a fire one i like how unique it is because it has the cutouts and that color motif you don't really see too too often so i just found it very unique and special so yeah Last up, these are the rest of the accessories and then we're gonna get the hell up out of here. But I didn't show this in my last pickups video, realistically I should have, but I just not forgot about it. It was just tucked away and I forgot to show it for that video. So now you guys get to see it here, but this is this goat wallet chain also by slumpy kev this is his own brando not in collaboration with st woods this is also heavy as shit beautiful story with this when i was in paris with him i was complimenting him on the wallet chain because i'm a wallet chain fiend i wear them all the fucking time and he literally took it off of his pants and he gave it to me so that guy is a w man's everyone spam w man's in the chat for slumpy kev i really appreciate him but yeah go check him out and tell him to restock these because this is freaking insane goat wallet chain where you see that done nowhere Next up, also some Oakley shit. We got some Oakley sunglasses. I've always seen these, never bought a pair. I felt like it was very like white boy swag, honestly, not gonna lie, but I think I'm able to pull it off. It's kind of cool. When I'm on my on my cabin vibes, it could be it could be accomplished for sure. But 
let's see this ice blue with the reflective lenses I actually work with when I wear this hat I feel like it it kind of works I look like this I look like the the, the, the superhero and, and Mr. Incredibles there you know where's my super suit where is my super suit I this is fine. I fuck with this. This is really cool. But yeah, these are these are dope. Double O on the side. <laughs> but yeah, these are cool. I, I mess with these. Really, really cool. These, on the other hand, these Ditas, these showed up in like not even 24 hours, like less than that. Shout out to the boy Waz. He looked out for me. Dita is the brand that he works with. A really well-respected eyewear company. He told me he's gonna send me some. I think yesterday midday, and they arrived like in the morning. So less than 24 hours, they're at my door. I don't know what type of Polar Express freaking shipping he's using, but it's incredible. Very, very, very impressive. So yeah, we got these. This is my favorite pair out of all of them, guaranteed. They just look so, so crazy. It's just like, you look like you're him when you put these on, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just something about them. These are the, these are the ones, these are the ones. These in the summertime, I can't wait to break out. Very excited about these. But these ones too are also very cool. These are like a calmer version of what, those last ones I just showed you. And these glasses ain't cheap too, so I'm really grateful to get these as well. I think they're like almost upward of like a thousand each, maybe like seven, seven to a thousand. So it's crazy. Got these two, more like understated, darker with the teal, silver lenses. I mean, silver frame, teal tint, really good. Very clean, very calm. And the last bits, these are things that I never really thought I'd be showing on the channel. We're not doing no try on haul, no nothing. I'm just gonna tell you about them and say, I've been looking over, now I'm on side quest of fashion, you know what I mean? I'm doing things that I never thought I would, like getting boxes that are like specialty. You know, normally I'm a Calvin Klein guy. That's why I wear but I literally just took it out of this bag. That was the last piece that I got from them when I was working with them to build the outfit. I had like 200 bucks left, I was like, let me be an idiot and get something like this. You know what I mean? So these are all just blacked out Tom Ford boxers because I'm I'm an asshole. I think that actually, no, they're like 130, but yeah, it was it was free. I'm just, I was just being a freak. And then these are some other undergarments. Shout out to Skims. We went from buying it in London for like 60 pound, which is insane for the tank tops, but you guys know how much I love those. And we got a few for the free ski. These are different tones. Uh, we have a like a gray melange, brown, and like a kind of like a soft green. So really, really good. These are the best tank tops in the game. No question, I will always buy these. Paid or unpaid or seated or unseated. Like everything I show, you guys know I love. So, and we also got the boxes. This is some, it's a little freaky. We're not doing no try on haul for these. That's for damn sure. So that's the end of that's the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys for stopping by once again. Sorry if that was a long one, but. It just so happened that a lot of things touched down at the same time this time. I don't know why, but we're very grateful. We're very blessed. A lot of that was gifted. So shout out to everyone that sent me some beautiful clothing so that I could provide some entertainment for you guys. So yeah, that's about it. Let me know what your favorite piece was in the comments below. Make sure to go follow the boy on the gram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E. -E. That's where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post Fitbix this and that, so that's what you can check out on there. And like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. And that's it. TikTok over there somewhere, whatever. And I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Peace. Bro, got the stuff. See you guys next time. Peace.